Welcome to a lesson on interpreting function values and derivative function values. For the first example, the monthly salary s of t in dollars of a dock worker is given by the cubic function s of t and also graphed on the left where t is the number of years after 1980. Let's begin by labeling the axes. The vertical axis is s of t, which is the monthly salary in dollars. The horizontal axis is t, which is the number of years after 1980. Next, we're asked to interpret the function value s of 14 equals 1,275.77. Recall every function value represents a point on the graph of the function. In this case, s of 14 equals 1,275.77 is the point 14 comma 1,275.77. The t value of 14 represents 14 years after 1980, which would be 1994, and the function value of 1,275.77 is the monthly salary in dollars for the dock worker. This indicates the function value s of 14 equals 1,275.77 means the monthly salary of the dock worker in 1994 was $1,275.77. The correct choice is the third choice. Notice the first choice doesn't include the word monthly on salary, also doesn't include dollars on the function value. The second choice does include the monthly salary, but it does not include the dollars on the function value. Next, we're asked to interpret the derivative function value, s prime of 14 equals negative 27.18. Recall a derivative function value represents the slope of a tangent line, and also an instantaneous rate of change. The derivative function value of negative 27.18 is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function when t equals 14. So if we sketch the tangent line at the point we just plotted, this line here, we now know the slope of this tangent line is negative 27.18, which also represents the instantaneous rate of change of the monthly salary with respect to t. To better understand this, it's helpful to write the slope as a fraction with the denominator of one and then include the units. Recall this slope is measuring the change in s with respect to the change in t, where the negative 27.18 is really negative $27.18, and the denominator of one represents the change in time of one year. So this gives us the instantaneous rate of change of the monthly salary when t equals 14. We know when t is 14, the year is 1994, and because the derivative function value is negative, the monthly salary is decreasing at a rate of $27.18 per year, again when the year is 1994. Looking over the choices, the correct answer is the fourth choice. The monthly salary in 1994 was decreasing by $27.18 per year. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we're given the daily receipts R of T in millions of dollars of a movie T days after opening day has the exponential model given by R of T. And again, R of T is graphed on the left, Again, let's first label the axes. The vertical axis is R of t, which represents the daily receipts in millions of dollars. And the horizontal axis is t, the number of days after the movie opening. And next, we're asked to interpret the function value, R of 28 equals 16.39. Geometrically, this will be the point on the graph, 28 comma 16.39, which is this point here. The t value of 28 represents 28 days after the movie opening and the function value of 16.39 would have been the daily receipts in millions of dollars. And therefore the correct interpretation, once again, is the third choice. The receipts 28 days after the opening were $16.39 million. Notice the first choice doesn't have the units of millions. The second choice doesn't have the units of dollars. For the second part, we want to interpret the derivative function value r prime of 28 equals negative 0.772. Once again, recall every derivative function value represents the slope of a tangent line, as well as an instantaneous rate of change. If we sketch the tangent line at the point where t equals 28, this would be the tangent line, and we know the slope is equal to the derivative function value, negative 0.772. To help us interpret the slope of the tangent line, as well as the derivative function value, Let's write it as a fraction with the denominator of one and then include the units for r and t. We know that the revenue r is in millions of dollars and t is time in days after opening and therefore negative 0.772 represents 
negative 0.772 million dollars, and the denominator of one represents one day. So again, this is the instantaneous rate of change of the daily receipts with respect to T when T equals 28 or 28 days after opening day. Looking over the choices, the correct answer is the fourth choice. The receipts 28 days after the opening were decreasing by 0.772 million dollars per day. Notice it includes all the correct units. Again, we don't include the negative because the negative indicates the receipts are decreasing. I hope you found this helpful.